Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So I thought in today's video I would use my trusted Gua Sha to actually work on the marionette and the nasal folds and lines. We're then going to be finishing off with the all important lymphatic drainage release just to release the toxins that we've moved around within the bottom part of the face. Now the gua sha I'm using today is my jade gua sha. It's got quite a large surface area here so we can really work the face well with this. I like to sit with my feet firmly on the ground, back nice and straight and in alignment and my shoulders nice and relaxed. We don't really want any tension in the face so although I do like when I'm working this area to just slightly have a slight smile just crease those where the lips are just slightly smile just in the corners here without crunching any more of the eye area and this will just actually help lift everything up rather than dragging everything down my also quickly my fingers are nice and clean and I have no product as you can see on my face whatsoever so a nice clean face now again it's really important when doing any facial yoga or drainage massage to actually use some form of slip and i'm going to use my usual trusted oil here and it's a rosehip oil i do prefer using an oil rather than a cream because it actually slides and glides the gua sha easier so we're just going to just put just a couple of a little bit more just a couple of drops on the fingers and just rub it in and then we're just gently going to apply on the lips above the lips and just all the way along from under the cheekbone along and then not forgetting the side of the neck for when we do our lymphatic drainage release now before we start on the gua sha, I just want to work that oil in slightly, so just slight massages with the fingers and just move it in an outwards motion just to blend it all through. I'd like to start here from my above my lips and across. Right, so once we've done that, I'm going to take the gashua and we're going to use this part first of all. And I'm just going to hold one part of my face for a bit of resistance and then we're going to start basically above the lips and the lip line and we're going to move across, almost sculpting under the cheek towards the ear. And give it a little wiggle. And we do this three times. One more time. Now when I'm doing this, I do like to make it quite flat. You can have it more raised if you like, in more of a sort of a scraping motion, but I like to use it flat and mindful. So once we've done that, we're going to work the other side. And last time. Now you want the pressure to be fairly firm, you don't want to be completely squashing because we are moving limp. So just at sort of a medium to light touch, not too firm, but firm enough so you can actually feel things moving. Now I'm going to start working on the bottom part here now, so we're going to do the same thing but working further down. So from the chin, again we're going to hold our hand into place for support. I'm going to just move and glide, gashwa along, slightly up along the jawline towards the ear. Now you can do this two or three times a day. I tend to, I would say probably do this a couple of times a week. And I've said in my previous videos, you can just, depending on what sort of area of the face, you don't have to work the whole face. You can just, you know, just go into certain sections and areas which you feel you need work with. So now we're going to hold on to our chin here. And again, 
working up. This will help with blood flow and the lymph. Not forgetting semi-smile as well, so we're lifting up. Now with the large parts here, and you can see it just slightly goes in here, I'm going to, again to hold on to one part of my face and then we're going to do a big sweeping motion across to the ear. And last time. And then the other side. Once we've done that, we're going to work upwards, particularly where we have these lines here from obviously smiling. And even if you're, you know, you're, you're not actually having your tongue on the roof of your mouth and you're dropped, it's again, everything goes down. So if you can actually have the, your tongue flat to the roof of your mouth, that will also lift up as well. So we're going to start where we would naturally have a fold and we're going to work in an upwards motion towards the nostril. So holding onto the jawline for support, we're going to take our gashwa. And we'll do this three times. And then just move it out again just to flatten it off. And then the other side so we can hold on and then just with our gashwa again hold from the jawline and work our way up and then lastly across again holding there so we're getting all that lymph and we're moving it to the side of the face And then once we've done that with our fingers, and again, you may want to swallow at this point because we've moved some of the lymph and the toxins around. You take your fingers and we're just going to do a little bit of lymphatic drainage. And you just want to work in round circular motions around the ears, just lightly. Down underneath the ear and up. And then to the top and then just back of the ear for one last time and then when we get to the bottom of the ear we then want to in a round circular motion still with our fingers just move towards the nape of the neck if you find any tender bits you can just give that a bit more of a massage just to help release and then move on. So once we get to our fingers touching each other, either at the nape of the neck, we just want to just gently sweep down with our fingers, very lightly down to the collarbone. We'll just do that a few times. And then from our chin all the way down either side, we have points here on our collarbone, sort of indentations. And you just want to give those just two or three pumps, gentle pumps, and this will release all the toxins we've moved around it within the lymph into the body ready for elimination. Now I do have other playlists on how to use a gashwa on certain points of the face and I'll put those up and again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and also a thumbs up would be great and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay bye.